Hi guys and welcome to another installment of Play Till I Die. This is my classic NES series in which I play games until I die using only the lives given, no continues, no cheat codes or anything else. Up next is a game requested by Sarah Solderland. Uh, Sarah, I thought we were friends. We've known each other for a long time. Um, I don't know why you do this to me, but this is absolutely one of the most frustrating games ever made. Uh, Marble Madness for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Not only was this game like super hard to control, but you had to navigate your way through mazes and obstacles uh, to try to get your marble from the start point to the finish point. And uh, it could definitely get frustrating after a while. So uh, with that said, we're going to go ahead and get into the game here. All right, so we're at the start menu. We're going to hit start uh, one player. It's going to ask to enter my name, which I am going to put in my gaming name, which is Titan. And actually, this is probably the smoothest controlling of the, the game there is, is right here at putting, putting your name in. Uh, you have a choice between 90 degrees and 45. I am going to play the 90 degrees, and I am going to try to make it through this practice race, which basically you're pushing up left and right to try to keep your marble from, you know, seriously spinning out of control. Um, and there I go, falling off in the first level. Twice. So that's going to be a good indicator of how frustrated I'm going to get with this game. I uh, got a little bit of a time bonus, which not sure quite what that's for, but anyway, it's going to count down. This is the beginner race, and as you can see, there is a black marble here that just wants to smack me around a little bit. And uh, so even if you fall off like, the slightest little bit, the either the marble starts to spin crazy and you can try to regain control or it'll just fall off completely. Uh, these little things will leap in the air and try to eat your marble. Uh, okay, obviously this bridge is not down. Don't want to get eaten. So coming around this corner shouldn't be too hard, but as you can see, I kind of fell off there and it started to spin. Um, so before I get too much momentum, yeah, I just went off again. Um, it's really hard because trying to control the speed of the marble plus the direction and as you saw like there I hit like the slightest little corner it started spinning out of control and uh, yeah so I'm having trouble just here on this uh, beginner course uh, but here's the end so we made it even had a little bit of time to spare so got a little bit of a bonus and now on to the intermediate race which, as you can already see, has uh, this dugout and walls that you just bounce off of constantly. And uh, very, <laughs> very narrow passageways here that, hey, look, it actually put me in the right place. Um, not sure what these little green blobs do if I touch them, so I'm just going to try not to. And uh, actually making pretty, pretty good time on this. But uh, I hate this part. It's got these... Uh, rolling green things and if I can even get onto it um, you have to actually get onto this roll down and then get off on the the next little walkway here which feels impossible and this is what uh, once it starts pushing you you really have no control and th this is where it pretty much gets me and uh, there it is about three minutes of being able to play Marble Madness and uh, how I did, however, get a higher score than Allie, so Allie, uh, if you're watching this, you can suck it. I am number 9, you are number 10. 